Leo, we are moving on to the mail next, and this is a story about MP Christopher Chope. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Christopher Chope stopping Boris from drawing a line under Slee's chaos. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is related to the previous story about, uh, about Tory Slees. So, um, you know, uh, uh, Putin-esque is the way I'd describe it. Boris trying to, trying to stop the Standards Committee and uh, trying, trying to stop the, the reform um, and then trying to introduce reform of the Standards Committee yeah. in, you know, in favour of, of himself and, and his, own, uh, his own kleptocratic crew. <laughs> um, so the Commons has now officially rebuked Owen Patterson and dropped the standards reform, which is, yep. which is good. Um, and a lone Tory MP delayed the motion to reverse the standards overhaul last night. So veteran Tory uh, Christopher Chope shouted, object, forcing the government to bring a debate and vote today. I mean, I just think it's great that, you know, yeah. MPs can, can do things like that. It's, it's great that it came from his own party instead of, instead of someone else. Um, but, yeah, just shout and object. Object, and, and that it's, works. It's like a playground yeah. game. You know, yeah. like, no, no backsies. Yeah, <laughs> but he has got form for that. And he's been criticised before. There was some... I think it was a bit about upskirting. Chope. And, and, yeah, Chope. And they wanted to bring it in with... They just, they just wanted to bring it in because, obviously, upskirting is a terrible thing, right? Uh, That's when somebody films up somebody's yeah, skirt, exactly. right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, for you, Scotsman, this must be a good story. <laughs> uh, I'll send you, know, you. I'll it, send is you. Is it a wide-angle lens? Is I'll, it going to... Yeah. I'll send anyway, you a high-res pic. Uh, but... Um, <laughs> but... I think, I think he's right, because these are all bills where if nobody says anything, they just go through undebated. And that's yeah. not what Parliament is for. Parliament is to debate these things. And often, yeah. you know, often I think the upskirting bill was an example. You know, it's a good cause, mm. but they haven't necessarily drafted it very well. Mm. And, it, you know, it can have all sorts of things. You can stress test it a bit. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, sometimes you go, I see what you're trying to do here, but this bill won't do that. And mm. it actually opens the door to some other stuff we don't want. So mm. I think... I think in general, I know he gets a lot of stick for it, but I oh, think things Chope gets a lot of stick for his objections. He's, he's yeah, known yeah. for it. But he's in a this, vexatious In this yeah. case, it was definitely... It was doing what the public wanted. I mean, obviously what the public yeah, yeah. wanted, but also what uh, most people in his own party want, by, by the sounds of it. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, the sleaze and the kleptocracy seems to be, uh, you know, confined to the sort of upper layer of the Tory party, the echelons, uh, the oligarchs. And, um, yeah, so some people, some colleagues uh, brand him a selfish TW something something. <laughs> um, but uh, he says he has no, no regrets. Theresa May waded in to criticise the government. And, uh, yeah, it seems, it seems in this case he absolutely um, did the right thing. The chope, good, good man.